Hi guys, this is me Philomena Philo in Cambridge today. As you can see, I'm standing right behind Cambridge University Social Club, right? And uh, we got pubs quite next to the river here and the activities have started big today, really. So yeah, but I, I needed to order a beer, but I can't order a beer because it seems like it's a long, huge queue, right? So. Yeah, a long queue, like one person, one person and all that, and yeah, a long queue, man. So I might just have to pass it and come later, right? But because I, I feel like I just want to go on the waters. I love the water, I love the sun, I love the way things look like down over here. Wow, oh, look at those interesting boats. Ooh, behind there. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so. The new moon begins tomorrow. Today is the 20th, so wow, beautiful sun. Oh. Alright, let's look behind me. Wow. Yeah, my phone is not so much, it's like, can't be so, can't, can't load so much stuff, right? Because it's a small iPhone, you know. So the beauty of working with a small iPhone is that it just cuts off in between and then... Oh, this year I can actually... Huh? Too many people. Yeah, what to say? Yeah, yeah, but it's good. People are inside, really. <laughs> so what do you think? You should, uh, really? Because three months at home, that's ridiculous, you know? Too many, too many. Ah, no, come on. It's not too... Three months is too much, so at least let, them, let people breathe. Come on, seriously? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what do you say? Are you not happy to be outside? <laughs> Yeah, come on. Ooh. All right, so yeah. Yeah, too many people. Okay, but Cambridge is a small. So I mean, to me, it's not all that. Like if you're in London, it could be something different because London, you don't even have space to walk. So, but apparently, that guy seems to say that there are so many people around, and you know, yeah. So, oh God, no pass. Where are we gonna pass? Yeah. All right, let me go through here and... <laughs> Sorry. Okay, yeah. Oh, let me sit here and enjoy the sun. No beer for me. Oh, yeah. That's the bridge, the mathematics, mathematical bridge. That is the mathematical bridge, right? Yeah, and it's Behind me. River Cambridge is actually flows around Cambridge so you can see the beauty of this city especially in summertime and you can understand why so many students come over during summertime because it's part of you know lots of fans of fun activities city excursions you know these panther safaris and they're pretty super cheap you know and the people are very friendly you know like what people say so much about the UK I mean it depends in which city you are because in Cambridge the Cambridge is a city of elites, you know. People who are educated, they got another different mentality. You know, you cannot compare Cambridge to a city like, I don't know, Birmingham or Liverpool or, you know, every city has its own culture, right? And, and Cambridge is dominated by elites, people who have education, people who are happy to, you know, to exchange, to interact on um, a mature, you know, level, like, you know. <laughs> You don't, I don't really feel the element of racism when I'm walking in Cambridge daytime or whatever because people just speak, laugh, because these are people you meet in the university every day, working in teams with them and brainstorm about, you know, topics and themes and all that. So, yeah, and it's totally different probably in London because London is a, a big, huge mix of everything, right? So, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, everything seems to be lovely. Look at the background. Oh yeah, so my phone is gonna be full in a bit and yeah, so I, I can't really record so much. I just wanna go and grab a, a beer or if not, I'm just gonna go home and drink a wine. So let's look on that side. That's the river and we keep on watching it. Oh gosh, yeah. Do you love smoke? Yeah. I hope someone can give me some weed to smoke, man. This is time to smoke weed. <laughs> Alright, so... 
that is it for today guys especially down here this is where the main action is in camping right because you drink along the pubs you order your drink and then you come and sit with your drink outside and there's that garden on, on this side see the big garden and people are seated in those gardens so yeah and now I'd like you guys to subscribe to my channel and like and share. <laughs> that is Philo. Cheers. Alright, now wait, I'm down to the University of Cambridge house. Look at the beauty of Cambridge. Look at the buildings. So that is the University of Cambridge house. I mean you can see the sign on this side. We are down there, you know, on the other side. So yeah. And that's exactly where we're gonna be going and it seems like there's some action going on here. Oh I hate the light. Yeah. Because it's just like beaming directly in the light. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. We're coming back to the novels slowly but sure. So yeah. I'm gonna go to order a drink at the park, yes. I don't know, do you have to order outside? I don't even know. Looks like I have to order outside. <laughs> wow, look at that beauty. Wow, alright. So. What are we going to be seeing here? See that? Look at that. See that? It's pretty good, right? So, yeah, actually very warm today and everybody's in good you know good moods it's in good moods and yeah and that is for camping the summer has begun right today is the 20th of, of june and tomorrow is the new moon so yeah new beginnings new vibes yeah positive thinking and people are happy and you cannot you can it can be much better it's gonna become much better people you know what i mean Coronavirus is not the end of the world, right? So now, sorry, sorry guys. Sorry, <laughs> sorry guys. <laughs> Alright, yeah, let me go and order a drink for me and cross over there on the fields and yeah, great, yeah, cool. Alright, yes, that is the main road. We're Regent Street downtown in, Cam in Cambridge. So things are picking back, everything is, you know, Getting slowly but surely back to normal. Today is the 20th of June, so by the 4th of July we're expecting probably all the massage studios, swimming pools, and pubs and restaurants to be open. Like this is one of the most favorite pubs I normally love to drink in. Revolutions, but as you can see, Revolutions is closed up, you know. And downtown we're gonna walk. I'm gonna walk you guys down to the street over there. To some area and then yeah explains lots of stuff to river. Oh god, so yeah, that is the John Lewis. Bicycles. City of bicycles, yeah. Alright. Oh, we're gonna kill it. Alright. Good. Yeah. Hey guys, this is me Philo. So now we're in the Grand Arcade. That is the main shopping mall in camping the grand arcade okay and as we can see now they just try i mean they're beginning slowly but surely the shops are not full as we can see you know look at that if i turn on this side you know normally these shops are fully packed you know so let me walk you guys through up to the other side and see the realities of the, the reality is as, as, it, as they are, right? This is a shoe shop, right? I don't know why it's written in German shoe. It might be a German designer, whatever. I don't know. Well, but they are at this moment, they're uh, like closed or whatever. Nothing is moving on. But I think but at least movement has started. So, yeah. <laughs> so, um, let's move ahead a little bit and see that is John Lewis, you know, one of those John Lewis. And the pub of a structure, like you walk in from this side, oh, maybe they're gonna give me a fine, I'm walking from the wrong side, oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we are the John Lewis now, you can see. And then we're gonna come to the Starbucks now, right? Starbucks, 
and uh, yeah, the entire shopping mall from a distance, yes, and yeah, so this is actual, as we speak, here in the now, on the 20th June in Cambridge, right, so things are slowly, for sure, changing because the last, the last Three months everything was closed so yes they are still closed but some few places like shops few are open but you know they are not really fully operational and restaurants bars hotels massage parlors nail studios salons barbers those all those are still closed up right so yeah but it's still a good sign and you know, I feel you know like the pressure slowly but sure lifting off the shoulders of the people and people a little bit feeling more happier because uh, summertime as well and as you can see in England hi guys this is me Philo now we're in Cambridge today I'm just gonna want to show you what's happening today this is the famous Parker's piece in the city center as you can see all right so look over there that is where the National Coach Express bus stands opposite the police station and as you look on the other side across the building when you walk over through that building over there then you get up to the university Angla Raskin yeah so I'm just grasping some fresh air like walking in town and seeing what's happening this is the first time today is the 20th June for three months now, I was not outside. When I came back from Germany, 